you know, this is like, um, uh, uh, you know, collecting uh, very unique uh, uh, pieces of art, right? Shohei Otane is probably the most uniquely skilled player in, in the history of the game, right? He's, he's the only two-way player since Babe Ruth, and, and Babe Ruth uh, carried the game uh, for several decades. And here we have Shohei Otane, who is a, just a, a wonderfully skilled player, but he's from a, a foreign country, right? He, he's, he's from Japan. He's, he's not from the States. So, uh, and, and baseball has grown globally, right, since Babe Ruth. Um, um, so, I mean, uh, is he worth it? I get, well, the Dodgers thought he was worth it, given their economics. And I, I, I give a lot of credit to um, uh, the structure of the contract because Shohei Otani doesn't really need the income right now at this stage of his career, he has what I've read uh, up to $50 million annually from endorsements from companies that he works with, uh, which advertise their products around the globe with him. And I think that speaks to the uniqueness of his skill. Uh, the, of course, the LA market and, and, and the breathtaking revenues they get from their cable TV, uh, but uh, also the globalization of baseball and its growth on, on, the, on the world stage. So um, is anybody worth that? Well, if, if you're going to be as uniquely skilled as he is um, at, at this stage with that team uh, on a global marketplace, uh, the answer is yes. You, you mentioned the structure of the contract. We've never seen this before. The only thing people are comparing it to is that Bobby Bonilla situation. One <laughs> is, is that, it, how how do the players association or that the that sort of a the deferring all that money is even allowed well uh, the the deferral works to benefit the club and and the player right uh, the the player gets to defer the income to a time in his career when he uh, is better positioned for it right uh, you can also uh, get more money uh, in your pocket uh, on a tax basis de depending on where you are and from the club's perspective, you don't have to pay all the money up front in, in terms of the contract, and it uh, makes it easier to pay it out over, over the longer term. So there's benefits for both parties, and, and they found the, uh, the happy medium in this negotiation. Um, where will the uh, Players Association um, come out on this? I think the Players Association has to be very happy because uh, all, all boats rise with the tide, right? We haven't even had a, anywhere close to a $700 million contract. I think Trout, uh, his teammate, uh, w was in the 400s. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I mean, um, I, I think it's a good contract for all the parties, and obviously they do. Time will tell if it's a good uh, contract on a performance basis for the Dodgers. If you're in the Dodgers front office, this is a move you have to make, no matter how much money. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't, I don't believe that. You, you, you know why, Steve? Because it takes a whole team to win a championship, and you just have to look back to uh, this this past season when Arizona won the pennant in the National League. Right? Nobody expected them to do that. They they came on in a rush. And you know, when, when you're operating a major market team, you got to be careful not to spend. Uh, all, all your uh, put all your resources into one player because it takes a team, right? You need to have everything to have a championship team. And you also need to have luck to advance. The Dodgers have done great, great work. You know, I, I saw Dave Roberts last week at a presentation where we both spoke in Nashville, Tennessee, and I congratulate him. He's got a 630 winning percentage during his time as a manager. Uh, unheard of, okay? Uh, 550 gets a lot of guys uh, uh, uh uh, a lot of money and, and gets them recognized uh, at the top of their peers. And, and Dave Roberts, by virtue of being the Dodgers manager and being on the front of this organization, that's been great for a long period of time. Uh, they, 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 they win every year. Uh, they're very entertaining and you know, they're going to be even more entertaining with Shohei Otani. How risky the fact that they they're doing this and they're doing it in an off season where he's not going to pitch next year. Well, that, you know, that, that surprised me a little bit that he got the kind of money uh, in this contract because he had the injury um, to his elbow as a pitcher. So certainly uh, if he's going to be a starting pitcher, he's more valuable uh, to a team, right? Because you're, you're, you've got two players uh, uh, to take one roster spot. But 
with, with the injury, I think it put a little bit more risk, uh, which the Dodgers would have to uh, have uh, been comfortable with. Now, even if he comes back and he pitches in relief, a relief pitcher, and say he's a closer, he's a dominant closer, um, you know, a relief pitcher is not as valuable as the foundation of a starting pitcher. So I hope he comes back as a reliever. I'm sure later on in his career, he may be able to transition to starter a la Dennis Eckersley, right? Uh, he did that effectively and went on to have a Hall of Fame career. But I mean, this is this is a very, very uniquely ta- talented ball player. When you look at this deal, uh, take us inside those war rooms when you're dealing with the agents. Anything stand out <laughs> from your career? We Everyone's mentioning this. They're mentioning Bobby Bonilla's money being deferred. Any Anything you, that, that you experienced similar to this? Well, D- Dennis Gilbert signed Bobby Bonilla. He sits behind home plate all the Dodgers games. I always think of Bobby Bonilla when I see my friend Dennis sitting there. Bobby's still getting a paycheck from the Mets. You know, uh, good for you. I mean, it, w- it was uh, revolutionary at the time. Uh, we signed Manny Ramirez with the Red Sox years ago, and we, we signed Manny Ramirez to help build out our cable TV network and it it, it worked. Okay. We, we put a lot of money into it. Uh, we ended up deferring a significant portion of the contract. I think Manny just stopped getting paid last year by the Red Sox and we signed him before the 2001 season. Uh, but that worked out for the club that, that was a really good free agent signing, uh, where, where Manny did well, the club accomplished its goals of building out his cable TV network. And then Manny, of course, contributed to a couple of championship teams. He got the MVP of the World Series as a great hitter. They all don't work out like that, Steve. But th- that, that was a success story uh, for the Red Sox. That And it, it was a good signing for me. Manny went into the Red Sox Hall of Fame. And, of course, he played for the Dodgers at the end of his career. But he deferred a lot of money. And it, it, worked, out, it worked, worked out good for everybody. Um, if you do it right, it's a win, win, win for everybody when, when, when this deferral works, you know, for the team and, and for the player and for the league. Put your crystal crystal hat on. Does this, does this work out 10 years from now when the Dodgers look back on this and show Otani's <laughs> making $680 million still, is well, this working that, out for everybody? That might be a tough check to sign, right? If, if you're the owner of the Dodgers, but I mean, who's, who knows, who knows who's going to be owning the Dodgers then. Right. Um, it's it's a little easier to make those commitments um, when you're deferring it down the line. You know, I mean, the Dodger owners might be onto something else at that time. Um, if I look into a crystal ball, I I, I, I don't know. I, I was a little uncomfortable with the values uh, given the injury. Right. I mean, uh, th- th- this guy is a huge player. Um, you know, he, he hit a couple of home runs. He, he pitched a really good game and, and then he got hurt. Right. Uh, I don't know that the performance at the top end of the scale for these great big guys is is sustainable, right? Because they're 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 so there's so much power and force going into a pitch, going into a swing. 